my YouTube friends, it's me, your old buddy Magnum over here at Magnum Videos. And as promised in our Sunday Preview of Coming Attractions video, tonight is our videography video and we're going to talk about the shot list. In order to create a shot list, we first of all need to know what our story is. What is our video about? What are we trying to tell? So, in order to do that, we need to first come up with some type of a storyboard that we can use to figure out what scenes we need to shoot, and then we can create our shot list. So, let's look at the storyboard for a very simple video production. All right, we're going to create our storyboard. Now, our story is going to be about a new gun. And our narrator is going to tell the viewers about the gun and what it is. And then he's going to go uh, to the range and he's going to shoot the gun and he's going to come back and tell the viewers what he thought of the gun. And he's going to do a tabletop review and then he'll do a final scene where he just summarizes everything. So our storyboard would go something like this. We've got the first scene and this will be in the office and he'll get everything set up the way he wants it. He'll be using the available light coming in the window and uh, he will just sit there and talk to the viewer and tell them all about the new gun. Then he will go to the range. So this would be our second sequence. And he will uh, he will get the gun set up and uh, he will take it out and shoot the gun at the range. Great drawings, I know. Then the third scene, he's going to come back to the office. And this will be the same setup that he had before. He's going to just sit here and talk to the people and tell them about the gun and what he thought of it. Okay? Then uh, how it's shot at the range, all of that kind of stuff. And then the next scene will be the tabletop review where he takes the gun, uh, shows them all the parts that are involved, uh, field strips it, takes it apart, and uh, shows them how to put it back together. And then the final scene will be our narrator again in the office, uh, talking to the viewer and just kind of summarizing everything that he thought about the gun and what he liked about it, what he didn't like, and any recommendations he has. So what we have here is one scene. This is scene two, scene three, scene four, scene five. Okay, so uh, scene one, three, and five are the same setup. So we'll call that setup one. Scene two is a different setup, so we'll call that setup two. And scene uh, four is a different setup, so we'll call that setup three. So, now that we know what our scenes are, we can come up with our shot list. Alrighty, we have our storyboard completed, and as we can see, we have here uh, five scenes uh, that comprise this entire video. So, we start out in the office. We've got uh, a narrator that tells uh, what the video is about. Then we have a, 
uh, range scene where we shoot the gun. Then we have a, another scene in the office where the video uh, narrator tells the viewer how he liked the gun, how it shot, how it performed, etc. And then we have a little tabletop review where the narrator uh, takes the gun apart, shows all the parts, all the features, and then shows how to put it back together. And then we have a final scene where the narrator uh, just sums up everything about the gun and gives his or her recommendations. So there are a number of ways that this can be done. The first way, and the most probably inefficient manner, is to shoot the scene in the office, to go to the range, shoot that footage, to come back to the office, set the camera up again, try to get it back where it was to start with, shoot that scene, uh, move the camera, do the tabletop review, and then move the camera again and shoot the final scene. That's one way. That's not a very good way. A better way would be to either shoot the range footage first or the tabletop review first and then you can get those out of the way. You could do the range video first and then come back to the office, set it up for your tabletop review and then get your setup for these three scenes so that there's no camera movement, no resetting of anything between these three scenes and they all look exactly alike. It's much quicker, requires less work on your part. So that's the way I would recommend that you do it and uh, I hope that's helpful. So uh, then at that point you can go through and list your shots and you can just list them as you know shot one, range, uh, available light and you can put the camera you know uh, close up it could be a close-up shot of you know the side of the face with the gun it could be a medium shot it could be a combination of those you could move the camera back behind the shooter you could move it in front of the shooter but not in the line of fire so you could you could capture a lot of footage at the range that would add some variety then you could shoot the tabletop uh, which would be shot two or if you if you consider the the range uh, shots as shot one, uh, you may have three or four or five shots in that sequence, like 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D, etc., uh, with different angles, different uh, distances, etc. And then this would be shot two, and then this would be shot three, four, and five. And you could just, whatever setting you have for this one, you use the same on the other two. So it makes it real simple, real quick, and real easy. So, I think that's it for now. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions about storyboards or shot lists, leave a comment. I'll be happy to answer them if I know the answer. If I don't, I'll find out and tell you. So, there you have it. I think that's it for now, and until I speak with you again, and even after that, you stay focused. Uh, through the window. Hey.